Hey, Ken, how are you doing today? John, I'm living the dream. What are you doing? Uh, I'm actually at work right now. So I have, uh, I need some advice. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get out of the profession that I'm in, in now and move into another and move into a better career. Okay. Which is? Um, sales. Trying to move into sales. Okay. And how can I help you on that move? Um, so I know I have the skills and the talents, you know, I'm good with networking, with people, good okay. at communication and being very personable to people. Okay. But I think it's just, I think it's just fear that's holding me back. Fear of what? Let's name it very um, specifically. Being rejected by my friends and my family. Why would you be? What they do. Okay. Let's talk. Let's unpack that. Cause I got to believe that's the biggest holdup. Am I right or am I wrong? You're a hundred percent right. Okay. Why would your friends and family reject you if you went into a sales job? So what I do right now is I work for a uh, part of the government in Maryland, and um, so do my mother and my father, and you know I'm trying to get out of that and move into something that I can actually make a career out of and you know provide for a future family. And you know I'm just afraid that they won't be proud of me or they won't you know accept me anymore or where's that come from? Whatever. Have they done that to you before? Have they ever made a statement at any point in your life that leads you to believe, whether direct or indirect, have they ever talked to you in a way that makes you feel like if you left a government job, they would look down their nose at you? Yeah. What'd they say? Um, just that, you know, um, well, I actually had a conversation with my mother the other day. Oh, um, tell me about she it. Said that, she said that if I if I left the government that I would be forced out of the house. Okay. Wow. We got all kinds of craziness and I got to be very careful. I do not want to dishonor your mom, but there's some wackiness going on here. Do you agree with that? Yeah. How old are you, John? 22. Okay. How long you been out of college? I've never been to college. Oh, you didn't go to college. Okay, great. And so you went right into government work out of high school? Uh, no. Bounced around from job to job trying to find, you know, something that I think that I can make a career out of and then slowly networking with people at my church. Okay. I found out that, you know, I, I could probably make it in sales. Okay. Uh, and you really enjoy the idea of sales? Or is it just... Very much so. Okay, good. And how much, would you, on, on a, one, it's a one to ten, one being it sucks the life out of you, and ten, it's a giant emotional party, how would you rank your government work and job? One. Yeah, dude. Do you want to live I on your... Up, how long were you planning on living with mom and dad anyway, before this call? Um, Probably about another three years and then move out. Now, bro, you're 22. It's time to put your grown man pants on and get out. Yeah. No, I'm I serious. Up paycheck from paycheck to purpose, and I've uh, been listening to the show a Good. lot, and it's really been helping. And Good. just that's wrong. Can I just tell you something? It's wrong of your mom to threaten you on that. How did it yeah, feel? When she... We we had a conversation about that. We did, and I told her how wrong it was. Okay, and, good. Okay. You know, All right. So here's the deal. So she... here's what here's what I'm going to tell you. You need to take the sales job, and you need to pack up your stuff and leave. Tell her you're leaving, regardless of her giving you permission or not. And here's why. It's time. You're 22. You're going you're gonna to feel great going out on your own. It's going to be a big, big um, boost for you to get the A, the new job, something you enjoy, but B, to be out on your own. C, I don't think mom is going to disown you. In fact, the very fact that she threatened you tells me she's afraid. I don't think that's who your mom is. I think your mom is so scared of you growing up and leaving that she kind of threatened you because she wants to keep you there as long as she possibly can. I could be wrong. I'm trying to be nice to your mom. Either way, this is wildly unhealthy for you to not pursue the sales job, all to make mama and daddy happy. Here's why. John, you ready? Hit me with it. If you do stay in the government job, for the sole purpose of not disappointing your mom and dad, you will very quickly begin to resent them. And I've said this before on the show. I'll say it again to you. 
This is me. I would rather disappoint someone than resent them. You see the difference? I do. Because, see, if I disappoint mom and daddy by living my life, that's their problem. Sucks for me, but it's their problem. If I resent them, whose problem is it, John? That's on me. Yeah. That's on me. That's on you. But if you disappoint them, you go on and move your, move on with your life, and mom and daddy will adjust. But you won't resent them, and you won't have your um, whole life scarred by the fact that the people that you love the most and who love you the most held you back. Boy, that's an awful, awful, awful sentence. You talk about a prison that's hard to break out of. Whoo! Once you lock yourself into that deal, folks, it's hard to get out of that prison. And make no mistake, I choose the metaphor prison very intentionally because you feel as though you have been taken captive by the wants and the needs of the people closest to you. You want to talk about a cold and bitter soul, that'll do it. You want to talk about a life of confusion, that'll do it. Wait a second. Mom and Daddy love me more than anybody. Mom and Daddy aren't letting me live the life I want to live. And see, there's where the narrative goes wrong. It's not Mom and Daddy's choice. You're a 22-year-old grown man. 22! Go live your life. Go live your life. How many people listening and watching today spent too many years in a prison of trying to please others? How many? How many of you right now have locked yourself in the prison of trying to please others? And you're so afraid of upsetting these people close to you that you aren't living the life that you know you're supposed to live. It's powerful stuff. It's a powerful, powerful prison. Because here's what I know. Once you accept that, well, I've got this path here that I want to walk, but it's not the path my mama, my daddy, my pastor, my coach, my teacher, my grandmama, my wife, my husband, then we are not willing to do the hard relationship work to say, this is who I am. This is the path I'm supposed to walk. And I'm sorry you don't agree with me. You got to trust me. But if we don't do that, we lock ourselves in a prison of pleasing others and we live our life miserable, resenting those people and essentially blowing the relationship up anyway. Choose to be you. Choose freedom. 